Welcome back. It's 9:10. Menopause is considered a normal transition or change of life for women over a certain age, but a massive new study finds it needs to be researched more and taken more seriously because of the long-term effects it has on a woman's lifetime. Joining us to discuss is Dr. Sarah Berry. She is the senior author of the study and lead nutritional scientist at a nutrition company called Zoe. Good morning to you, Dr. Berry. Thanks for joining me. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. So let's go over this. A lot of people think menopause is the end of a woman's reproductive years, period. But your study finds, among other things, it's more than just the end of a woman's menstrual cycle. So what happens to women physically during menopause? Yeah, so our Zoe Predict program uh, of research, which is the world's largest personalized program um, of, of research, found that the menopause was a period of huge uh, upheaval for women biologically. And given that millions of females worldwide are in a menopause transition or postmenopause, and it's this time of huge changes, what we did was explore specifically how impact affects the breadth of health outcomes and our responses to food. And what we found was that um, and, and that up until the menopause, women and men are on a different trajectory. Women behave quite differently in terms of her health, health outcomes. As soon as we hit the menopause, bang, you know, we're up at the level um, with men in terms of suddenly we increase our blood pressure, our weight around our belly increases, mm -hmm. um, our blood cholesterol levels increase, our blood sugar levels increase, and inflammation go up. But what was really novel is that we see that postmenopausal women have higher inflammation and also higher blood sugar responses after consuming carbohydrate-rich meals. And we know that this is undesirable because we know that these high peaks in blood sugar um, initiate a whole cascade of unfavorable effects such as inflammation and oxidative stress. And this increases our risk of many diseases such as cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, um, and increases our chances of, of gaining weight. But shockingly, it's a really understudied area of research, um, mm -hmm. like, like you said, and yet there is something that we can do about it. Okay, let's talk about that because what I'm hearing you tell me is that um, food and our nutritional habits are drastically different after a woman hits or is undergoing menopause. So you say there are some things we can do to cut back on inflammation, diabetes, and where do you begin? Yeah, so we do see that your diet changes uh, post-menopause compared to pre-menopause. But I think the key thing to note is that what we can do is we can modify our diet to reduce some of the inevitable parts of the menopause. So unfortunately, it is inevitable that we do have physiological changes that occur due to the loss of estrogen. So one of these, like I said, that we saw was this increase in blood sugar after consuming carbohydrate rich meals. And we know from our Zoe program of research that we can implement different dietary strategies to try and reduce this. So for example, we can reduce our intake refined carbohydrates so by this i mean uh, breads confectionery uh, as well and what we can also do is even if we want to have that carbohydrate um, in our meal we can try and somehow attenuate some of these downstream effects that i mentioned this increase in inflammation by adding lots of plant-based foods into our diet and also by trying to encourage a healthy microbiome and this again is because we know from our program of research that encouraging a healthy microbiome, which are the trillions of bacteria that live in our gut and modulate our health. If we can encourage favorable uh, gut microbiome, we can also attenuate some of these unfavorable effects on our blood sugar, on our inflammation, mm -hmm. and also potentially on the gain weight uh, that we have, gaining weight around um, our belly. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you know, you hear women say, well, I just haven't been able to eat like I used to when I was younger. There's a reason for that, and this study has basically Prove that, uh, Dr. Sarah, Sarah Berry, lead nutritional scientist at Zoe. Where should people go to, uh, to get more information? And if you look at different diets that are available right now, because we don't have time to get into specifics, what would you recommend to women? Anything specific, like an anti-inflammatory diet or a DASH diet or something like that? 
Um, so you can go to the joinzoe.com website, uh, which is uh, gives a lot of information about the different kind of strategies you can implement to reduce some of these unfavorable effects. My biggest recommendation is to ensure that you enjoy your food and that you don't try and follow a very prescriptive and restrictive diet. And this is what we're doing at Zoe. We're really empowering women to be able to pick the right diets for them, for their unique biology, whether they're pre or post menopausal or, or depending on other um, different biological challenges they're facing. Okay, very, very informational and very helpful. We appreciate you joining us this morning. You take care. Have a good day.